The goal of this video worksheet is to practice balancing chemical equations. To use this video, pause, balance the equation, then check your work and move on to the next. By the end of the video, you'll no longer be a beginner in balancing chemical equations. Let's get started. When we look on the equations, the numbers in front of the coefficient are the only thing we can change. Right now, even though it's not written, there is one here, a one here, and a one in front of the HBR. The numbers we cannot change are the subscript. These numbers after. And if there is nothing written, we assume to be a 1. To balance the equation, some people find it helpful to make a table. So now let's count the atom on each side. Hydrogen we have 2. Bromine we have 2. Hydrogen on the product side we have 1. And bromine we also have 1. Now remember we can change the number in front of the coefficient. So if I change this here to a 2, that would apply to the entire molecule each of the atoms. So for the hydrogen, 1 times 2 that gives me 2. And for the bromine, 1 times 2 that also gives me 2. So now we have the same number of atoms on each side of the equation. 2 hydrogen here, 2 here, 2 bromine, and 2 here. This equation is balanced. You can remove the one to make it a little clear. And that's the final equation. Let's try another. For this equation, I've already counted the atoms up. So let's see what we can do to change our coefficient. We see that iron are equal, but we have two oxygen the reactants and one on the product. So I'm gonna change the coefficient in front of this FeO molecule so that I can have two oxygen. So if I put two here, I know one times two will gives me two. I also have taking account the iron. 1 times 2 equals the 2. So I fixed the oxygen. But now the iron are not balanced. I want to have 2 iron on both sides of the equations. So if I put 2 here, the 1 times the 2 equals 2. And now everything is balanced. Sometimes when you balance an equation, changing one molecule will mess up the other ones. But you need to go through that to get the final balancing equations. In this equation, I added everything up on its side. The reactant side is okay, but on the product, look on the oxygen. I've written the one oxygen. Let we see on the water, but I forgot about the two on the carbon dioxide. So really, it's one plus two equals three. That's a very common error that people make. Once I've done that, everything is balanced. Not too bad, right? Let's try about another equation. This equation is similar to others, but now we have parentheses to deal with. Whenever we have parentheses, everything inside the parentheses, everything is multiplied by the subscript. So see how this looks. I've already written down the number of atoms of the reactant side. For calcium, I have 1. For hydrogen, I have 2 times 1 here, so 2. And don't forget this other 2 hydrogen here, plus that 2, so I have 4 hydrogen and oxygen 2 times the one that gives me 2 oxygen. So now that I've got that, it's not so difficult to balance this equation. Calcium are fine, hydrogen looks like I have 4 here and 2 here. Let's put it 2 in front of H2O. That means the H2 times 2, that's 4. So we balance the hydrogen and then 1 times the 2 equals 2. And we can balance the oxygen. The key here, when you've got parentheses, everything inside is multiplied by subscript. In this single displacement reaction, let's start by balancing the bromine atoms. I have one bromine on the reactants, two on the products. So I put it two in front of the NABR and now one times two equals two. The BR is balanced, but I have one times two for the NA and they are not balanced. But I have the BR is correct. Let's go with the product side and fix the NAs. I need 2, so now 1 times 2 will give me 2 NAs. But I also have to change the CL. 1 times 2 gives me 2 CL. But that's good because now the CL is balanced. The bromine is fine. And NA is balanced as well. Let's try a more difficult equation. So on this equation looks kinda intimidating. It's not too bad if you know a little bit trick. So let's count the atom on its side. We have Pb that equal 1 
and when I see the NO3 here I have NO3 on the other side I can write that down NO3 in this parenthesis here shows me to apply everything so I have two NO3 I have two I have an A two of those and again SO4 here SO4 here that equals we have one on the product side PB equals one NO3 we have one of those and A we have one of those and then the SO4 we also have one of those so it looks like we have one and A here and two is so those aren't balanced and our NO3 also aren't balanced let's fix the NA if we put two in front this one times the two that gives us two that would balance the NAs and this two apply everything here so for the NO3 I have the one times the two that will give me two as well and this equation is balanced the trick here is to recognize when you have polyatomic ions, these groups of atoms that are the same on both sides, like the SO4 here as well, and just count them as one thing, it makes the balancing much, much easier. So that's our last equation. I hope this has helped you. This is James Diggsman, and thanks for watching.